Right, so this morning what I was trying to do was fit another circuit breaker to the bike. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any cable um, to basically fit into the second circuit breaker because I need to like put two cables into one circuit breaker and then parallel it off onto another one. Um, and so I went to have a look at my battery, my old e-bike, well, it's actually the old quad bike battery, um, which I'd kind of left around the back here and stupidly I didn't kind of insulate, I mean the battery's knackered anyway, um, but I didn't kind of rainproof it, I just left it out in a, what I thought was a weatherproof box and it turns out that it wasn't and the whole thing was basically full of water. What I was going to do is just nick some nick some wires, nick some of this high gauge wire because I haven't got any um, other wires. So anyway this whole box was full of water this morning um, and so I emptied the water out and it started making a few kind of sizzling sounds so, so yeah not not good at all. So what I've done I need to just basically dispose of this battery but it's actually um, got some charge still in it. So what I've done is I've got some salt water and um, so this is just like rock salt and just water and I'm gonna basically fill this up just immerse the whole thing in water to basically dispose of it because you know there's no other way of discharging these batteries safely or quickly um, and this could just end up being a nightmare I was seeing a little bit of um, a little bit of kind of smoke and stuff coming off of this wire I think it's, it's basically shorted out on there so right here goes salt water in the battery. That should, in time, just basically just completely discharge and destroy all the batteries. You can see some fizzing happening there. So I've just got another bucket of water. I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more because I think we need to stay away from that battery. I think that um, it may be sort of doing it a little bit too quick. See the fizzing in there. Right guys, it's been a couple of days now. Um, I've left the battery basically just fizzing away, doing its thing, trying to trying to destroy it. And um, this is what we're kind of left with. It still seems to be a couple of little bubbles popping out, but I think pretty much you know, it's it's done now. So I'm gonna empty out the water, just put it down the drain or something like that, and then um, probably just stick it in a bag and take it down to the dump. Just gonna check some voltages, just to um, make sure we get right into the wire. So see, there's practically no, practically no voltage there at all. 0.5. So just before this, I did the same with the others. There's basically no voltage is showing anywhere, so. This battery has shown about 60 volts before I started this process, so yeah. I've I actually cut all the individual, um, I've cut all the series links as well, so that you know you haven't got this cumulative big voltage. And I'm just gonna stick that into the uh, into the trash. I've done this a lot before with um, radio controlled um, aircraft batteries, like back in the day when lithium polymer kind of came out, it was kind of like this big kind of scare about you know what to do with batteries um, that were a bit dodgy. Most of the time, we just because they were small batteries, we'd just like have a laugh with them and just stick a nail through the middle of them um, <laughs> in somewhere kind of you know open. But I don't want to do that around here with a battery like this. It's just it's just crazy. This would probably cause a well, this would probably go up in flames mega time if you just if you did anything like with one of these batteries because they've just got so much energy in them. Um, so I think this is probably the best way um, to get rid of lithium polymer batteries if you don't kind of need them in. probably the safest way as well um, if anyone knows any better I mean you could just obviously do it the long-winded way by you know putting a, a light bulb on or a load on, on the batteries but the problem with these batteries is they're like 20 odd volts so you know you're probably gonna blow any car bulb uh, and it's just a lot of hassle so I think this is probably the easiest way of um, easiest way of doing it ideally you probably want to do this in like a big kind of I don't know, like a tall bucket, maybe not a metal one, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is this is probably probably okay. So let me know in the comments if you've got any tips for getting rid of these sort of batteries, and um, yeah, catch you in the next video.